Hi, I'm, I'm Alan Heaney from Efficient Farm Systems and I'm here today with um, Liam and Jim Delaney outside Port Leash in County Leash. Uh, Liam started with uh, heat detection, health monitoring collars about two years ago and I think you bought 70 heifers in advance of your robot coming and uh, tell us a little bit about Liam. First of all, tell us a bit about the farm and then about the, the, the collars that you put on the heifers. Yeah, for, when we made, when myself and my dad and my family made a decision to, to go into the milk and uh, when, when we did uh, buy the robot, the first thing we do then is um, is go maybe start looking up maiden heifers and trying to look up good ones. So we had progressive genetics, Sean Hayes, our progressive genetics, sort of, he was sort of sourcing heifers for his maiden heifers. So we purchased 52 maiden heifers in the spring of 19. So then I was home and I was thinking, I was like, and I was thinking about this robot and colours and stuff. I was like, God, wouldn't it be great if I... Uh, could get the colours on, onto the heifers and try to get them in calf. And this was before any robot was landed or any shed was done or anything. It was the first sort of, after buying the heifers, it was the next thing we, we sort of done. So I rang Alan and uh, I asked him out straight, would there be any possibility of, uh, of getting the colours off you eight months earlier, nine months earlier? So he, sa he said he would. So they came out and they put up an antenna at the, at the shed over there. And, uh, and that, 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 brought in the whole field of 38 acres. So when we lay out the heifers on the, on the colours, we had this little green box in the shed and uh, it, it looked at every morning and evening and it shows up uh, all the ones that were in heat and it shows up the ex exact times to AI the mat and everything. So we're sort of blown away with this small bit of technology, how, how good it was. And, and we trusted it 100%. We didn't cut tail, we didn't uh, tail paint. We did nothing else. That's an oil tail paint, do this and the other. No, we did nothing. We just put the colours on them and just kept an eye on, on the little green box morning and evening. And we got got every one of them in calf. And uh, so much so that the all calf were in six weeks last year. And uh, no, it, was, it was very happy with the system. And it's the same again this year. But they're not as compact this year. Second calves really weren't as compact. But uh, overall, extremely happy and it, it takes the worry and you're not at home thinking I wonder if something bullying now or you're not looking at them more noon and evening you're just that's good so essentially what they are they're the synth hub collar uh, it comes in a collar and also in an ear tag and it measures activity so which is your heat detection your health monitoring your early illness detection rumination eating lying resting and all those multimetrics that make up a cow's or a heifer's behavior in this situation it was a little bit different as we mentioned Liam decided to put them on the heifers in advance of the robot. And I suppose, Liam, what time of year did you put them on and how quickly did you start seeing the activity being generated and then at what time did you go in and AI those heifers? Uh, we had, I think we started AI them about the 25th or 6th of April. So after, I think it was drawn two weeks before we started AI. So you want two or three weeks on for them, for the system to get a bit of data on them and uh, to find where, where their baseline is. So then if their activity goes up over the baseline, then um, they're in heat or whatever. And then if their rumination is low, if they're sick or whatever, that'll show up as well. So Good, so uh, you would have got good results. Liam, how easy is it to interpret the data and how easy it is, it, is it to follow the user interface? And how quickly can you identify heats and then act on that uh, notice? It, there will be bullying for maybe a, an hour or two before uh, it probably picks them up. But well, that's all the better, probably for AI. So you, you don't want to AI them too soon. Yeah. The way the system kind of worked in this farm is the antenna was put up on the apex of that shed. And it kind of works on a, 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 it's not a full 360, but it'll work up to 800 meters on a direct line of sight. So if you can see kind of the, the orientation of the farm, we nearly have full visibility of all the animals at any one time. So that data is sent from the collar of the cow through a radio wave back to the antenna and then onto a phone. So it's done very quickly and very simply, but this farm is, is so ideal. It's flat and you can see all the cows from the yard. Now certainly we can probably see all the cows from the top of that shed. And that's, that's the maybe the advantage of a small amount of acres for that number of small farmers. But uh, but it'll also pick them up behind it. Like the, yeah. the antenna is in on the pillar of the shed there now and it will actually pick up the cows in the shed that's actually behind it as well. So how far back behind it, I don't know how far it goes, but it will pick them up behind yeah. it as well. In terms of a milking parlour, it's just a little bit different when it comes to uh, heat detection health monitoring. So if the cows go beyond range, well all that data is stored in the collar, so that when they walk in onto that roadway, or into the collecting yard, it's all picked up. And cows then come and present themselves for milking twice a day. So that data is picked up very, very quickly. It's downloaded through the antenna, 
and back into the phone. It happens in minutes, so it is. So where the farmer then can make a decision whether to draft a cow, AI a cow, treat a cow, separate a cow, or let the cow back into the bunch. Um, you're doing it twice a day, so it's different here. You're bringing the heifers in twice. The big advantage of, of having your maiden heifers and having them in calf using the colours is that we could pick our own the straws to put them in calf to. So now we have uh, 18 heifers, Frisian heifers, uh, coming and streaming out to go, to go in calf. This, this spring, so it's, it's great having the ones that, that, you, that you wanted to pick yourself on the system. If you if you buy heifers that were in calf, then maybe they mightn't have been suiting our system because we're sort of pushing production fairly well with a, a Holstein British Friesian cow. Uh, so it, it's important to have the right heifer. So the fact I had collars and had them in calf at the right, the right, uh, the right sires, it, it means an awful lot. Perfect. So I suppose, Liam, is what you're saying, you got a head set, or a head, sorry, a head start in advance of, of, of the robot coming. So you got time to breed your heifers with the right straws to write the ha right calves coming the subsequent year after. So it was a smart move, to be fair. Well, it was better than going and buying a, an Angus bull and letting them out with, with, uh, with maybe 50 top-class uh, freezing heifers. Like, you, you'd be... You know, you, you're, you're down big time as regards money-wise work, you know. You're, 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 you're freezing heifers are, are even worth a good few pounds, even at the minute, like. I suppose as well with the with the, the, a major, major surge and an interest in robotic milking, and also a massive, massive, massive now interest in heat detection and monitoring, probably more people are going to follow what you did. But you're even even beside the robot, even anyone in the parlour, uh, there's a... There's massive interest in in the whole heat detection of colours. Like it's 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 good for everything. It's good for your breeding season. It's good for your milk and your cows. It's quicker the cows are calved quicker and they're out the grass and they're producing milk rather than the nine calf. Like every every cycle, three weeks is is, is a, a vital to to your to your um, to your money at the end of the year. So in terms of a farmer looking at a, a rotary or looking at a milking parlour or looking at a robot. What advice would you give to him in terms of heat detection, health monitoring collars? Well, sure, it's it's a it's a no-brainer. In, in no matter what uh, milking system you're in, let be rotary or parlour or anything, uh, the, the the heat detection collars I think is nearly a, a must. So, uh, Liam, I suppose the next question I have is: Okay, you have the heat detection, health monitoring collars on the cows for almost one year. Now you put in your robot. How well does it work in, in, in terms of communicating with the robot and then drafting and segregating that cow after milking? It, it works even better because you're not going out morning and evening to bring in your heifers or bring in your cows. Uh, the way this setup is ABC grazing and C grazing is from 6 o'clock in the evening until uh, 2 o'clock in the morning. So if there's a heifer in heat during the day, she'll be when she goes into the milk, she'll be drafted into where the headlock and barrier is and she'll be left there. But if she, if she's um if she's in heat at six o'clock in the evening and you or say seven or eight o'clock in the evening and she's uh you don't want her left in the yard all night so she's sent back out to sea and and she doesn't go back to A but then and from seven o'clock in the morning before we come down then if she comes back in from sea she's kept in the pen so at, at least that you're not going to have a, a cow in the yard all night they can go back to sea until seven o'clock in the morning and then when you're down then at half seven or whatever it is we can just say aye them and let them on back to eight then. No, but it's handy when you come down in the morning if you have six or seven to be aye they're all there in the pen waiting for you it's very handy that way and as labourers you're, you're, you're saving time and, and it's, it's not it's a great job oh we've we'd uh we scanned it around we i think we've uh about 62 out of 70 to calve in six weeks we've we've about or what have we about uh, uh about four weeks into our calving now and we've 46 calved but that's that's the panic is over now it's going to be sort of slower from now on like. we had one cow not in calf because i didn't put her in calf because she was a bad milker and she'd she used three spins and she used to go lying not lying the cubicle so we didn't put her in calf and we milked her on from through the winter because we bought some cows and milked them on from through the winter as well. And she, uh, I, I locked her into one of the cubicles and, I, and we got trained into the cubicles, but still, uh, we, did, we didn't put her in calf. So look at long story short, no, they're all in calf bar one, and that one we didn't put her in calf. What is it we can, in terms of uh, the numbers, the metrics? What's your six week in calf rate? Uh, I, th I think this coming year it'll be about eight or nine percent. 
So an another feature that most people are interested in now, rather than just heat detection, because heat detection is over in six to eight weeks, in the middle of the summer, um, people are looking at the health monitoring piece. And a key piece of that now is the eating algorithm and also the rumination algorithm. And what we're finding is a cow that's gone off for eating, then subsequent to rumination will fall, and it gives you that early illness detection and allows you to go in and intervene. A lot of people ask, what's the price or what's the cost of these products? They get very, very popular. There's a lot of farms getting into them, and whether it's robotics or rotaries or, or milking parlors. But I suppose it's fair to say, roughly cost about 15 quid to 20 quid a cow per year, depending on the volume people are buying. Um, Liam, what do you pay, about 110, 120 quid a collar? Oh yes, yeah, around 115 or 20 euros a collar, yeah. But you're looking, it, it, it's money well spent. I mean, when you break it down, if, if you have a cow calving three weeks earlier, by getting her, uh, it's, it's, it's paid for in the year. Yeah, already. and in, in terms of uh, 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 how long they last, um, you talk about seven to eight years. But the main thing is there's five years flat warranty in these products. So for the next five years, Liam will have absolutely no outlay. And that's five year flat warranty as opposed to five year scale warranty. Scale warranty is warranty that reduces. So I suppose for the next five years, Liam, you have no extra cost. Guys, we're going to sign out from the Delaney family here today. I want to thank Liam and Jim for having us here. I hope you find it informative and look, ask plenty of questions later.